Hey, what's up, guys? You're watching this video because you want to trick your job into giving you a raise. You want to trick your boss into giving you a raise. Basically, you want to get paid more for whatever it is. Maybe you want to buy a new car. Maybe you want to buy some more clothes. Maybe you just want more money. Maybe you want to save up. One of the stories, you want to make more money. I'm going to make this fast because I hate watching YouTube videos that are too long. Just like that. So, let's do this. You got to be very strategic very strategic when you're trying to get a raise but it's very easy for you to do and I'm going to teach you how to do it with no negotiation or barely any negotiation today is Thursday for me you might want to do this the next day you're at work you're going to go to your boss and you're going to tell your boss these very simple words next week Wednesday specific date you got to do a specific date, right? Next week, Wednesday, I'm going to come in at 10 a.m. Make sure it's an hour later than whatever time you have to go in. If your job starts at 9, tell them you're coming at 10 or 10.30. If your job starts at 12 noon, tell them you're going to come in at 1, 1 1.30. Basically, just make sure to tell them that you have to go in late that day. That day, when that day comes... You have to make sure that you're very, very well dressed, right? If you work Monday through Friday, I'm going to explain it again. If you work Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., you're going to tell your boss, hey, listen, on Wednesday, I'm going to come in at 10 a.m. No negotiation about it because remember, you have to be strategic. Wednesday comes, you have to be dressed like you've never dressed before at your job. Suit and tie, haircut, looking good, smelling good. You have to walk into your job like you just left an interview and the interview went well. Make sure you do this. Do not fuck it up and just wear some regular old clothes. Even if you have to buy a new outfit, think about it like you're investing in this raise that you're trying to get, right? After you come in, employees are going to ask you at least one or two or everyone's going to ask you or even your boss might ask you, hey, where were you? Oh, you look so nice and etc. Try to laugh it off. Be very vague. Oh, I just had something to do. Don't worry about it. Laugh it off. The next day or a few days later, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to tell your boss, hey, listen. On Tuesday, I'm going to come in a little bit later or whatever the day, whatever day you want to do, or you don't have to do that anymore. What you also could do is just, if you start at 9 a.m., make sure you go to work again, dress the par, looking beautiful, looking great. This time you're going to do something slightly a little different. You're going to have a resume with you. Maybe one or two copies, right? What you're going to do is at your workstation, when you get up and leave to go to the bathroom, to go to lunch, to go anywhere, even if you have to leave for the day or when you come in, you're going to leave that resume on your desk, on your table. Basically, you're going to leave it for someone to see that you have your resume out. Make sure the resume looks good, obviously. This is going to indicate that you are now in the field of looking for a job. If your job values you, if you're a good employee, or even if they just need you because your department might be short, I guarantee you the next day or in the next few days, your boss is going to pull you into the office and want to talk to you and ask you, hey, I've been hearing that, you know, you might quit. What's going on? And at that moment, once you're there, that's your time to negotiate. And you tell them, hey, yeah, you know, I've been going to some interviews. Um, I've just been exploring. You know, I'm trying to get paid more, you know, be on their side about it. You don't have to tell them directly, like, I'm tired of this job. 
Obviously, if you want to raise, you know, maybe you do want to stay at your job. If your boss at this moment or the person that's in charge of giving you a raise, whether it's the HR department or whatever, if they're not willing to negotiate with you, you're going to say this one liner that's going to kill them. It's a question. You're going to ask them, is there any way that we can resolve this reasonably? Now, this is when you're talking about the money that you want. If you're getting paid $25 an hour and you want 27 or you want 30 obviously always ask for a little bit higher than, than what you actually want so you can negotiate a little bit and you can meet in the middle. So what basically what I'm saying is if you're getting paid 25 and you want 27 ask for 30 settle for 27 At the end of the day, you'll get what you want. Um, if they're not willing to break, ask them this question. Is there any way that we can resolve this? When you ask them that question, it puts the ball on their court and they kind of open up to it because they do want to resolve it, you know, unless you have a problematic boss or manager that doesn't give a fuck about you. And if that's the case, maybe you don't want to be there anyway. Maybe you should actually go look for a new job. But trust me, when you do those things right there, you come into your job already looking like you're looking for something else, like you've already been in interviews. You might even tell them when you're there negotiating with them, you know what, I got an offer. Maybe they might ask you for an offer letter, so sometimes it's not that smart. The best time to do this is honestly what I've seen and what I've done is when you know your job needs you. When your department runs with six people and there's only five at the moment, you know? That's the best time to negotiate your raise. You know what? To you, it may sound like a shitty move, but to be honest with you, jobs will do anything they can to have good employees and save money. So if you're a good employee and you know what? They don't want you to leave and they don't want to go through the hiring process again. Trust me. They're going to pay you. They're going to figure it out. With that being said, good luck. I hope it goes well for you. Remember, dress nice, good haircut, beautiful resume. And when you walk in that room, they already sense the fact that they have to do something to keep you. You know? Good luck, guys. God bless.